on social media. Hulu has touted it as its top movie, um, really its top premiere across TV and movies um, of, of all time, of the history of the streamer. So Prey is, is truly, and she, above all, as this Incredible. skilled warrior who is protecting her tribe, has gotten tons of great relief. That's right. I mean, I, you put her up against Arnold Schwarzenegger, I will put my money on her. In fact, I watched it on the plane over here, and I'm going to watch it again. My wife is also not a fan of this type of, like, you know, scary, suspenseful movie. But I'm going to watch it a second time. We're probably going to watch it during the daytime. But it is, it's the best thing I've ever seen on Hulu. No, daytime, I think, will be the ticket. Maybe I will uh, try to watch it on Saturday morning, maybe <laughs> maybe an early morning watch. Yeah, come on over. We'll have a big party on the sofa. It'll be great. Uh, next, we've got this new series, a League of Their Own. That's a comedy on Amazon Prime. It's an adaptation of the 1992 movie starring some very funny people. Here's a quick clip of that. Oh, we have the I don't think you understand. This is the All-American League. We're pretty All-American. Well, I will say that the original film, the 1992 classic with Gina Davis, Tom Hanks, Madonna, and more, is one of my all-time favorite movies, but I believe that this is a worthy successor to that film. Now, 30 years later, we are getting a chance to dive deeper into what it was like being a part of that all-American girls baseball league. It's a legacy that still continues, and I think a lot of people, in particular this new generation, need to learn more about, so it's so fun to get a chance to dive back in and see co-creator and star Abby Jacobson, Darcy Carden, and Shantae Adams, in particular getting some of the women of color who are a part of this and their stories in there. I think it's really important and fun to get a chance to This one is a movie starring Jamie Foxx, the Franco Snoop Dogg on Netflix. Uh, it's about a dad who cleans pools as a cover job for his real job. Uh, let's take a look. Vampire Honey is a business cut next and cash and checks. Things have changed since you got your kicked out the union. If I don't come up with 10K. Come on, why can't my daughter go to move before? Hi, Dad. Your legs, Sandy. And the union is the only place that can give me that kind of money. Your record is chock full of incidents. But he's a new man. One last chance. This is your final warning. Let's get crazy. Snoop, Fox, vampires, like what else could you ask for, right? Well, to borrow a joke that is from this movie, this is not a Twilight vampire story. <laughs> this is not glistening vampires. This is really hardcore action. They are taking it to a whole other room for. So for those of you who might be a little, you know, uh, scared of the kind of intense action, you know that there is going to be a lot of fun with this. You really see how incredible the stunt work is. They, they really tried to do something um, pretty special with Day Shift. So it's something that maybe is not quote-unquote family-friendly, but you can, you, can, you can bring the family along if you think they can hack it. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we've, uh, we've got to watch Mindy Kaling's Never Have I Ever on Netflix. It's back for a third season now. Here's a quick look at that. Isn't it crazy that Paxton and Davey are together? She's dying, right? It's like a deathbed, last wishes thing. Maybe she's just a huge spot. It's unbelievable that we're together, right? Ow, ow, ow. I like you. Yeah, but Did we discover that being in a relationship doesn't solve all of our problems? Hey, try Dr. Ryan. The entire Olivia Rodrigo album would disagree with you. <laughs> I mean, anything that Mindy touches just becomes gold, right? Absolutely. And she found an incredible gem in Maitreyi Ramakrishnan, who is the star of that series. She plays Davy. And as we are now entering the junior year of this show with the fourth and final season upcoming next year, you really got to jump in there and see what is happening with the love triangles and all of the drama.
Sherman Oaks High in preparation for those final episodes. This show is full of so many laughs, so much heart, so much fun, and truly some life lessons about what it's like to be a teenager and how, you know, it's really important to focus on yourself and loving yourself. I mean, it, it's definitely lots of comedy in there, too, and you can see a little bit of a sexiness, uh, but it really is mostly about heart. And Angelique, let's turn now to some music. We've got some new music, a Rod Wave, now with the number one trending song on YouTube right now. Although, here's a listen. Rod Wave. And it's that country hood vibe. I love it. I can't get enough of this. And absolutely, and neither can anybody else. I mean, as you mentioned, Alone is the number one trending song on YouTube. That video is beautiful and powerful. Um, Rod Wave is a Florida rapper who has really been, you know, burning up the charts, getting so much love from other musicians, and you can see why. He's really kind of like pouring his heart out there in the music that he's making. This track is one of the 28 tracks from his album, Beautiful Mind, which has features with folks like Jack Harlow, and it's, it's, it's so starting to become a real big hit as he is this, you know, kind of soul trap pioneer with that, you know, very distinct mix of hip-hop and R&B. And finally tonight, Carly Rae Jepsen out with her submission for Song of the Summer, Beach House. Let's take a quick look.
terms of this receivable property. If you look at the list now, some of them are just kind of like box labeled A26. They don't have much detail on them. A few of them give a little bit more detail. We saw that there was the executive branch of clemency for Roger Stone. There was some kind of information regarding the president of France, Emmanuel Macron. Does this tell us anything, or does this just kind of speak to the volume of materials that the FBI took? It doesn't tell us a lot. if there's any rationale. 